Hey guys, we're looking at Mr. Wait, let me lower the music a little bit. We're looking at Mulganus, Mr. New New Hero. It's pretty much 11 2.0. 11 but better. Oh, where's the sounds real quick? Let's lower that sound real quick. So this is 11 2.0. Basically the same path of Illidan. Actually, I'm not sure which one takes more health, but I'm pretty sure this one's better. And this guy has more health. Doesn't have like 2,000, 1,000 something health from the start. Actually, let's check how much his health is. Choose a talent. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot more than Illidan. Then again, you are a bigger tagger, target. Choose a talent. So that could be a problem. A his passive, lifesteal. From all the damage you do, basic attacks, abilities, just like, basically, Illidan. Yep. Damage still to enemy heroes and 15 to non-heroes. Cool. His first ability is... Fell Claws. You do three attacks, controlled. If you press Q, you have the time to use it. You can basic attack cancel between the attacks, which is pretty cool. And this is pretty strong because of an uh, ability you get to use at, what is it? At 7, Black Claws. Which I'll show you in a second how strong it is. You know what? I feel I feel like showing you right now. Let's just take some random talents we'll look into. Now Black Claws. Every, every time you use Fell Claws, your next basic attack does 50% more damage. 45%. So basically, you just do this. Cancel, basic, cancel, basic, and go. And there you did 115% more damage, plus the auto attack cancel you weaved into there. So that's a that's pretty good, you know. He gets CC pretty well, so I mean, if your team's good, they'll pill they'll pill him out. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now, second ability, it's Necrotic Embrace. You just do damage it around to you in a circle. Dealing damage instantly, and you gain 24, 25 armor. You don't have to hit anybody to get the armor. I have 50 right now because of a talent, but it's 25 armor. Doesn't use that much mana. It's pretty good. Pretty low cooldown. Still not the Illidan cooldown, where you, you know, basic attack and you get more cooldowns. And your attack speed is not that fast. So you could, you could look into that. He's probably fat Illidan. We can call it Fat Illidan. Second ability is Night Rush. I mean, third ability is E. You, after channeling, you get movement speed. For two seconds, you move around, and whoever you pass through, you sleep. Uh, let's. Yeah, let's just sleep. This guy's right here. Sleep, 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 sleep. Cool. Cool ability. Good way to get out, I guess. And CC. What's about it? So that's him. He has two ultimates, which is Carrion Swarm. Which you turn into a swarm of bats, you heal for 100% of the damage dealt. So that's pretty strong. You do channel when you're walking, so as long as you keep walking forward, you will catch up with your enemy and they won't run away unless they have a dash or any speed buff. And again, this heals for 100% of damage dealt, so that's pretty strong. The next, um. Hold up. Let me reset this real quick. Reset talents. Let me take some damage here. Let's take whatever. That conversion. Yeah, get out of here. Stop healing me. Why are you healing me? I want to take damage. Alright, so pretty much what I do is... I, I change health bars. Basically, I like stress a ult. But to an enemy. And you steal their health. At zero health, I took all of the one. Will you change health bars? Is this strong? Yes. That's pretty strong, I would say. You know what's the best part? Wait, hold up. Let me take some damage here. But not die in the process. Alright, let's get out of here. But if I take the level 20 talent, where I do damage to enemies nearby, this happens. I deal all the damage to everybody. Cool. 75% of the damage. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Percent health. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not that strong. 
I'm sure we want to sell more Fat 11s. So that's cool. So that's him. Pretty much a go in, get out character, just like mostly any assassin. Except the ones that are ranged. If you have the time in the world, you can do the auto attack cancel, but it depends on who you're fighting against. And you can tell. Oh, that's cool. You can tell which build you're gonna go depending on the enemy comp. If they have burst damage or sustain damage or a lot of tech damage. And I'll show you why in the talents. I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm gonna go over them real quick. <laughs> we got Winged Guard, which each time the Necrotic Embrace hits an enemy hero, you gain 50 armor. So this is for sustained. Uh, you gain armor if they have a lot of physical damage. You will get a lot of stacks of Winged Guard. You also got Vampiric Aura, which gives you more healing, and he also hits, heals your teammate. Just the the safest way to go, Vampiric Shout, because it doesn't depend on physical damage or magical damage. Heal when initially damaging enemy heroes. Magnus heals for 109 when damaging a nearby enemy hero. This occurs every six seconds. I would say no. I would rather go for Vampiric Shout, so it's between these two, personally, I think. I mean, 109, and every 6 seconds, I'm pretty sure you'll heal more out of Vampiric Aura. So let's go save Vampiric Aura. This is where you can tell which tanky build you're gonna go. Because Necrotic Embrace heals you for the damage taken. So every time you take damage, every tick of damage, you'll heal for 27. So if you have a Tychus hitting you, he's gonna heal you constantly on every attack. And you heal for more so instead of 45% of the damage still you do 60% which is pretty good that's that helps you get in there because it's a sustained fight now might of Sargeras gives you instead of 25 armor you're gonna get 20 you 50 which is double but it's gonna last less therefore it's a ability you should use only when they're about to burst you and you notice that they're gonna use burst damage you can absorb as much as you can with the 2 seconds of 50%. That's for burst, this is for sustained, and this is for damage. When the Kraken Burst expires, it explodes again for 114. If an enemy heroes hit, you get more armor. So this is for more damage. After you use it, when the duration ends, it explodes again for more damage. And you still get the armor. So between the Echo and Feel of Torment, this is more sustained, this is more damage. So damage, sustained damage, you get it. Uh, block Claws is probably the best option here. If you can stay in the fight. Fail Claws, are, it's an instant. It's instant heal, so that's pretty good. Uh, Priority deal damage after Night Rush. Now this is interesting. This is a uh, Burning Rage. That you can sustain by hitting enemies. So this is also sustained damage. This is to... This is damage, this is basically sustain, and this is uh, just, actually these two are sustain damage. It depends really on if you're hitting one target or if you're constantly surrounded. Basically it deals more damage. Uh, in a bush, and they also deal what, to sleep targets. Meh, not worth it. These three just do damage and I think just Black Claws is a better option. Overall, the spreading plague is also good. Yeah, you see, even Malganus agrees. So what the heck, guys? If you're not gonna listen to me. Listen to him. So carry on swarm and that conversion. If you hit a target with that conversion, you're pretty much good to go. You get another health bar and you kill. You kill a tank for fuck's sake. So it's dangerous to use. So I suggest using it at fifty percent or something like that. Carry on's also good against a lot of uh. You know, enemies and squishies. You are invertible, so this is actually a, a good call. Depending on if they have a main tank like Stitches or Diablo, and you want to heal, he do the most damage and heal for more. Uh, it will up be up to your decision. If you want to have fun, or you just want to, you know, try hard. Either way. Next ability 13, it's increased night rush duration. I think the best thing to do is uh, just slow after the enemy wakes up. Because it gives you way more CC time. 
Yeah, why did I use this one again? I think there's no other better option than Night Rush because giving you up 15 movement speed and you need to every time you get healed, it's not worth it. So many souls to it's 8 seconds, you can keep it up a long time, but meh. Well, a long time. Quite Asian that I sound there. Increase Night Road sleep duration by... nope. Yeah, Night, night Beckons is just the best option in my opinion. Now, Agreed. in here... The crowd unleashes a wave of bats in front of Morganus. This is just more damage. As you can see here, it's double the damage. It's just to do burst damage, gain attack speed against uh, bigger heroes. Eh, it's okay. A bl blind as a bat. It's a pretty interesting uh, talent, which is... Let's try it out. Let me show you. It's good, but there's a certain... Choose a talent. ...thing to it. Choose a talent. Let me show you. Hold, hold up. Do this. Let's do black claws. So that's the thing about using black claws. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. So a talent. Blinds a bat. So when you use blinds a bat, you become blind as a bat. No fucking shit. And you have no cooldown on fail claws. So if you use it, you can just do this. All the time. Now let me toggle cooldowns off real quick so I can show you. As you can see, I can co constantly use it. The problem is, you can't basic attack within the black, uh, within the state, for some reason, because you need vision. Therefore, if you took the black claws, it's not very good. I suggest you take something else, something like burst or a uh, frenzied assault. Now, if you took uh, the percent health that you get, you're gonna live through everything. You're gonna just fell claws through everybody, keep doing damage. And keep healing yourself. So, Will of Tenacious plus uh, Blind as a Bat, pretty strong. That's a lot of health. So you have the sustain option or the damage option, which is pretty awesome. Pretty good playstyles. I like the sustain one. It's constantly be there, depending on it, if it's a burst or a dot enemy team. You can d define that. Now, uh, level twenty talents, storm talents. You got Carry On. Swarm, which after it expires, it shoots a swarm of bats that sleep heroes. The closest heroes, there you go. Sleeps them. So it's great for chasing. So that's why it still encourages to fight against a lot of assassins. Seeker Swarm. Now Dark Swarm, I showed you that it hits multiple heroes, which is does more damage. So the more tanks, the better. To do, you know, the most value, but it still works for other people. Other mages, I mean, just have fun. Uh, basic attack slow, this is pretty much Nexus Blades. I mean, seriously, who you, you just call this Nexus Blade? What the heck's wrong with you? Uh, Night Rush reduces enemy vision. Meh. Just take Seeker Swarm or Wrath of Nazareth. In very rare occasions, do you want Vanish of the Weak? And that's pretty much how you're gonna play this guy. Now, if I could play my three games and get a game with him, maybe I'll upload a gameplay video on him. I guess you could wait for that. But remember, basic attack cancel with him. So you can do the Dark Claws damage, as so. Boop! Boop! Oh, it's pretty difficult for some reason. But if you just just press A on the enemy, press Q, wait for the attack, press Q, wait for the attack. Should, should be easy. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this formation or whatever you want to call this. And thank you so much. Let's use it on this guy. Just like Illidan, it's sustained damage. You have to get in there and do the damage. And just heal. There you go. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so much for watching.